Even though the gallery was significantly smaller at this year's Honda Classic, the excitement was just as high, both among the fans and the business community. It's great to come out here. I had a great day. It's our first time, first PGA event ever actually for us. As a lifelong golf fan, I was almost brought to tears watching some of these golfers. Like following Phil Mickelson, that was absolutely amazing. Honda Classic leaders say even though just 10,000 fans were able to attend the tournament per day and festivities like the fireworks shows and concerts were canceled due to COVID, the tournament was a huge success. I think it was magical. This has been a great event for Palm Beach County. It's been a great event for the city of Palm Beach Gardens. You know, and I, and I think it's a testament to what this community does for us. And along PGA Boulevard, restaurants like Avocado Cantina still had a solid increase in sales over the last week even with lower fan attendance at the tournament. I would say roughly we're up 20 to 25 percent. I didn't think it was going to be as good as it was this year, but it, it turned out being great. We've been busy Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Uh, it's been great. Same story over at Voodoo Bayou Cajun Restaurant. We have definitely seen a bunch of people coming with the wristbands and whatnot, and uh, you can definitely tell they've been out at Honda for sure. The owner of Swampgrass Willie's Bar says the uptick in sales was especially important this year. It's been a good week for us. We've been happy. We look forward to it and thank God for it this year. It's been a tough one for everyone, and uh, I think all of Palm Beach Gardens and the surrounding area is benefiting, so it's a great thing. Honda Classic leaders don't yet know the total local economic impact from the tournament this year. Reporting from PGA National in Palm Beach Gardens, Steve King, WPBF 25 News.